Welcome back. There is a new reality series competition that focuses on floral design and arrangement. It's called Full Bloom, and I recently spoke with two legendary celebrity florists who are participating in the show. Let's find out more. There's a new reality show all about floral arrangement, and I have two florists here to talk to me about HBO Max's Full Bloom, Maurice Harris and Elizabeth Curran. Thank you both for joining us here on Park City Television. Absolutely. For having us. Maurice, let's start with you. Tell me more about this show. Yeah, the show's kind of a cool um, culmination of bringing florists, young and up and coming florists together to like test their skills and see how they communicate with one another, see what their design abilities are, um, in an effort to win $100,000 and really jumpstart their career. I mean, I can only imagine what I would have done with a, a $100,000 investment into my business when I first started. It would have been outrageous. So um, we're doing larger than life. Um, uh, each challenge is larger than life. It's really fun. It's really loving people. Um, are learning and growing in such an interesting way. We as judges are constantly surprised throughout the show, and it has been like such an amazing, fun, and fulfilling journey. And Elizabeth, you're described as the rebel florist. Tell me more <laughs> about your career as a florist and your participation in the show. Yeah, so I am the lucky judge that stands between Maurice Harris and Simon Lysette. I um, like to be the wiggle in the middle. Um, and I, uh, you know, so th that's my role on the show. And my history as a florist is I, um, I opened my first shop in 1999 here in Chicago. Um, I have two shops here now. And um, <clears throat> when, when, when I started, Flowers were, uh, flowers were in a way that just wasn't pleasing to me. Flowers were happening all over in this very forced, sort of uniform, sort of modern way that just wasn't speaking to me. And I um, got a job at a flower shop and I just fell in love. And I started really trying to break out of that mold that was happening in the 90s and let like the beautiful organic plant matter speak for itself as opposed to forcing it to do something else and you know we just sort of took off from there i think um there weren't many people doing it like that back then and i didn't recreate the wheel it had been done in like the dutch master era and i just sort of started to tap back into that and then um, went from there and Maurice, what can audiences expect when they tune in? How is the show structured? The show is structured in a way where they do an individual challenge. Once you have the, end of the two top winners of the individual challenge, then go into a group challenge where they do, um, they have to lead their team. They have to like figure out how to engineer some really crazy masterpiece. And um, once we see who wins that, they're safe and they're able to go to the next challenge. And then whoever's on the losing team, all those people are up for elimination. So it really is testing the, the wide range of skills that it takes to be a florist. It's not just about flower arranging. It's about leadership. It's about engineering. It's about um, hydration, how you keep your flowers alive, how you prep your flowers. Um, and it's about time management. That's like a huge one. Um, people really underestimate the amount of time and the amount of people and the amount of labor that it takes to do what we do. So we are really putting them to the challenge to uh, see what they have and ultimately seeing like their creativity and their interpretation of these um, beautiful ideas. And Maurice, I know this is a competition show, so we don't want to give too much away, but do you have any sneak peek for Marie or a favorite moment, a part of the show that you really like the best? Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> the thing that was the most surprising to me was how, how surprised the judges were. Like, 
we walk in and you can kind of assess and see who's kind of at the top of their game, who's kind of on the entry level. And I mean, every elimination, we're just like, whoa, we're sending that person home. Okay, this is how it it panned out. So it's kind of interesting. We end up with the best person, but how we got there was a very interesting journey. <laughs> and Elizabeth, I'm going to give you the last word. What was your favorite moment? What do you hope audiences will get after watching the show? I mean, I think my favorite moment was <clears throat> a few episodes in when we started to see these florists fall in love with one another and what they could teach one another and how they could uplift each other and be kind and like share their knowledge with each other. And from then on, it just, yeah, I, that was like the turning point for me. I think it was like, I don't know, maybe episode four when people just started to really like open up and shine and they were growing and changing and helping one another. And it's like, they were in competition for a lot of money and the way that they supported one another and the way that we all sort of just were as a team was, it was beautiful. Well, the show is full bloom. It will be available Thursday, November 12th on HBO max. Elizabeth Cronin and Maurice Harris, thank you so much for joining us today on Hudson Television. Thank you. Thanks. Have a good day.